Hi, I'm Karen Varga, bringing you information on the Pradia insecticide from OHP. Our guest today is Dr. Carlos Bogran, technical manager at OHP in charge of insecticide development and research. Carlos, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Happy to be here. Now, Carlos, what is Pradia insecticide? Pradia is a novel combination of two insecticides, uh, one that is designed to control chewing insects and one that is designed to control sucking insects. Uh, and these are, are products that are labeled and registered for use in ornamentals in greenhouses and nurseries. And what is it exactly about Pradia that makes it unique? The uh, part of the unique thing is there's several things that are unique about Pradia, but uh, the, the first one is that is there's a novel combination of, uh, of of two active ingredients. One is a, one of the new classes of uh, insecticides, the diamides, that protects the plants on the outside against chewing insects, but also against rasping insects like thrips. And the other active ingredient is one that protects the plant inside against sucking insects. So uh, two selective insecticides combined uh, give us a very broad spectrum of control. It has quick knockdown, one of them, and the other one has provides long lasting residual control. So it is designed uh, for use in greenhouse and nurseries for all kinds of the pet insect pests. And what are some of those key ornamental insect pests that you were mentioning? Yeah, the cool thing is both active ingredients are active against uh, the major pests uh, um, because of the contact activity and also because the ingestion activity. So uh, uh, among the, the key pests, uh, aphids, uh, uh, thrips, white flies, uh, all, the, all the major insect pests in the greenhouse because it also controls Lepidoptera caterpillars. Uh, and so it's a variety of chewing and sucking insects that are controlled with, with Pradia. Sounds great. And what are some of the advantages of Pradia? The advantages uh, uh, are the spectrum of control that controls uh, not only chewing insects, but also sucking insects and has outstanding control of Western flower thrips, but also that it provides uh, both the contact activity translaminar activity, and then systemic activity provided by the one of the components. So it provides both the protection outside the plant and inside the plant. And what are the rates growers should be using with this product? Uh, the rate range in Pradia goes from, 17, from 10 to 17 fluid ounces uh, per 100 gallons. But, uh, you know, if you want to start with, you know, I would start at 13 ounces. 13 and a half ounces per 100 gallons. You can also use the same rate per acre uh, um, as you will see on the label. And so that provides growers with the flexibility. 13 and a half is a good place to start. Okay, and what else should growers do for an application of Pradia? Um, we have seen that the addition of a surfactant, uh, a spreader type surfactant, you know, that the, the helps it again, spread all, all over the, the tissue and gets absorbed into the cuticle of the, of the leaf helps the performance of the product. So uh, when using Pradia, especially for those hard to control pests, the addition of a uh, uh, spreader type surfactant uh, enhances the application. So is Pradia safe to spray on ornamental plants even when they're in flower? Yes, uh, knock on wood, we haven't seen any, any issues with, with Pradia. Uh, in our internal tests uh, in all over the United States at the grower locations. Um, um, the independent uh, uh, researchers and university researchers that have tested have, have not reported any issues with any of the plants, even at flowering. And uh, currently the IR4 program has uh, Pradia under their crop safety testing. So we'll, we'll learn very soon again, on a larger variety of plants, but we have tested more than 100 varieties of bedding plants, uh, woody ornamentals, uh, perennials, and, and luckily we haven't burned anything yet. Carlos, here's the big question. Are growers having success with Pradia? Yes, yes, thank you. Um, uh, when we first introduced the product uh, last year, uh, uh, we, we, we had reports of Wi-Fly, good performance on Wi-Fly. 
but it, it took until this spring to really hear really good comments on control of western flower thrips and and so we're we're very pleased because that's what exactly what we we would expect uh, again based on the novel combination of two active ingredients that are active against western flower thrips and uh, provide uh, a great tool Wonderful. Thanks uh, for all the great information, Carlos. If growers have more questions or um, need more information, where can they go? They could uh, give us a call anytime. Uh, our contact information is on the website at www.ohp.com um, or through your local uh, technical sales uh, managers across the U.S. Uh, or through one of our distributors uh, in this uh, ornamental market. Thank you very much for the excellent update, Carlos. You're welcome.